Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the third annual Thanksgiving Eve Boxing Spectacular here at the Castleton Banqueting Conference Center in Windham, New Hampshire. All tonight's fights will be fought under the jurisdiction of the New Hampshire Boxing and Wrestling Commission, presiding tonight the incomparable Art Nolan. Yep. You have three officials, you have three judges at ringside throughout the evening will be Steve Weisfeld, Eddie Scunzio, and Dan Patton. Your referee for this opening contest will be Jackie Morrell. We kick things off with the four-round fight in the light heavyweight division. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner to my left. Wearing blue trunks with white trim. Coming to us from Springfield, Massachusetts tonight. Entering the professional boxing ring for the 20th time as a professional. Hey, Zeus. Sin Jones! And as the opponent standing directly across the ring, fighting out of the red limit to my right. Wearing a yellow trunks with black trim. Coming to us from Fall River, Massachusetts tonight, he makes his professional debut. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Wayless! Four rounds, light up All right, All right, thank, thank you, you, Peter, and here, here we, we go. go. For those of you tuning in, I've never, never seen Centron fight. He's excited. Brings it right from the bell. So, Joe, we're okay. kicking things off in the light heavyweight division here in Wintham, New Hampshire. Joe, thanks for being here in Wintham no, on this thank Thanksgiving you. Eve. Thanks for having me. I love it. Ooh, Langley just caught him with a nice left hook. Cintron's going back down to the body to right in the center of the ring. So this is an interesting Ooh. fight from a matchmaker's perspective. Hey, Sue Cintron, not the most promising of professional boxing records if you're a box rec nerd, which I assume you are if you're watching this webcast right now. Stephen Langless, however, he's a guy that's had a tough road as well. Uh, did not have the prettiest record in mixed martial arts and did not have the prettiest of records in amateur boxing, but he's a guy that feels that it's time to turn pro in boxing. It's his calling. He trains out of the Punishment Striking Systems Group in Fall River, Massachusetts. They have Kyle Cusick who will be on the show a little bit later as well, and he feels very confident. At the same time, Jesus Cintron is looking at his record, and he's saying to himself, you know, I've been overmatched more or less my entire career. I feel this is an opportunity for me to win a fight. So... Interesting dynamics here between Jesus Cintron and Steven Langless. This, this is a tough out for your pro debut. Cintron's game, he brings it, he hits hard. Referee Jackie Morrell taking some action in there. Jackie Morrell, a man who between the amateurs and the pros fought Marlon Starling three times. So he's a no-nonsense referee and a no-nonsense kind of guy. Do you know where he finished off his professional fighting career, referee Jackie Morrell? No, where's that? Ice World. <laughs> No kidding. Small and I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Totowa, New Jersey? Totowa. Totowa, New Jersey. Nice left hook by Cintron. A little more tactical now. Both guys trying to utilize the jab. Nice uppercut by Langley. Langley's getting that uppercut. He's finding success. Both guys landing jabs there. But Looked like Langless had a good combination upstairs, circled his way out immediately. And it's just me, is he sneaking that uppercut in there a little more often towards the latter half of this round than he was at the beginning, Joe? Clubber Langless is. He's finding success with both the left uppercut, right uppercut. Oh, now Citron has him against the ropes, but it doesn't look like he's going to capitalize. Both guys circling towards the center now. Now, I mentioned that Steve Langless has some mixed martial arts experience. Jesus Cintron also had some mixed martial arts experience. He does. He had one amateur mixed martial arts fight, followed by seven after that. He's seasoned. He's been around. He's a combat veteran. It looks like, oh, he goes down. Looked like a short right he by thought Clubber about, Langless. Yeah, he thought about taking a knee and then almost thought better of it. But by the time he thought better of it, that glove did touch the canvas, and referee Jackie Morell is correctly going to issue a count. All right, they're going to keep going. Langless is going right after him. Ten seconds. Hey. Oh, Langless has landed some good shots, trying to finish it before the round ends. Oh, they're going to make it to round two. Good first round for both guys, though. I think Langless might have edged it, but Cintron's still in there. Well, Langless certainly gets the round off the knockdown, so it should be a 10-8 sure. round in his favor. However, Jesus Cintron was certainly swinging and landing early on. 
Jesus Cintron with Christian Torres in his corner. And it should be noted, Christian Torres is not the man who trains Jesus in the gym day in and day out. He works with Robert Bricks and with Devin Christie, who we'll see later in the card, where Stephen Langless in his corner has Aaron Bernardo from Fall River, who is with him day in and day out in the gym. So in a moment right now, when you went down in round one, Jesus Cintron's listening to a voice that he's probably never listened to in the corner before in a situation like this, where Stephen Langless coming off a very successful round for his pro debut, has all his normal people in the corner and seems calm, cool, and collected over there. Yeah, he did a good job. Clubber cut, did a good job of keeping his composure after that knockdown. Got three more rounds left, though. All right, here they go. Meeting right back in the center, just like round one. Oh, Cintron swinging for the fences. And I'll tell you right now, Jesus Cintron looked a little gassed at the end of round two, and I think that he is taking the strategic approach of ending this as early as possible in round two as opposed to trying to go all four with the way he came out. Uh, Langless got him with another uppercut there. Langless is doing a good job of using the jab. He's keeping the jab busy. He's backing him up, got him on the ropes now. Oh, big shots by both guys. Langless better be careful. Citron connects. This could be a wrap. This is a limited audience, socially distanced show where only 217 ticketed people are witnessing this live. And I'll tell you right now, they've got a slugfest between two guys who won it in the opening fight tonight. Great fight so far. Both guys going back to the jab. Down to the body by Citron. Oh, Citron with a clean left. He's got Langless in the corner, but it's not doing up. Back with the uppercut from Langless. Highest body shot by Cintron. Now, until that knockdown in round one, Joe, who are you giving the edge of round one to? Obviously, Langless gets round one due to the knockdown, but who are you giving the edge to up until that point? You know, both guys were landing shots. Langless is with the jab and those uppercuts that he was repeatedly landing. He found more success. I'd have to still give it to Langless. It's a close fight, though. It's still anyone's fight. Oh, nice shot by Langless. Citron's hanging in there. The, the chin on Citron is uh, applaudable. Uh oh, he might be gassed here though. Langless needs to take advantage. Oh, Cintron takes a knee in the corner. I think he's done. Ref waves it off. Clubber. Langless picks up his first career win with a second round stoppage win over Jesus Cintron. Good fight. Good performance by Langless. Cintron hung in there. He did what he could. I just thought he's uh I think he thought he was being out outworked. There wasn't much he could do to Clubber. They're embracing in the ring respectfully. It's good to see. Good performance by Langless. That'll bring Steven Clubber Langless to 1-0, the 33-year-old with a successful boxing debut. We'll see what's next. Steven Langless is your winner. What a performance. Congratulations, good for him. Next up is another exciting one, bout number two. It's a four rounder at welterweight. We're gonna have Lacon Lewis and Robert Bricks. Lacon Lightning Lewis is 39 years old.